All right, good evening, everybody, or this could be good morning, or it could be good afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this. All right, I'm Jim Moyna. This is Moyna Bass Fishes. We are at Lake of the Ozarks for the fourth tournament of the six uh, tournament series called the MLF Tackle Warehouse Invitationals of 2023. All right, today was the first day of practice. This lake's got a lot of undersized fish. In this tournament, we got to have a 15-inch minimum size limit. And there's a lot of fish that are falling underneath that 15 inches that I'm catching. And I mean a lot. You can catch a lot of small fish here. So it's, it's fun. to. I mean, it's fun catching fish. So in that aspect, it's, you know, I'm having a good time. However, uh, the, the bites over 15 inches, of, I mean, I don't even think I had a, a limit of 15 inches today. So a little, uh, little disappointed on that part of it, but it is only practice. We had a ton of wind. It was really windy today. Uh, we had partly cloudy skies. The uh, dogwood trees are blooming. I mean, it's peak bloom on those things here. So that tells you, I did a video not too long ago, that tells you um, the bass are on the beds. So um, they are. I, I didn't see that many because it was so windy, but I did see a few beds in some of the protected pockets. And uh, most of them were empty, though. So I don't know if that's because there's tournament guys taking them and weighing them in or, or what. But uh, most of them were empty. I did see one nice fish on a bed. It had to be a female. It was a pretty good-sized one. But, you know, that, that fish will probably be gone by... Uh, our tournament starts on Thursday, so here we are on Sunday. Uh, the female's not going to hang around that long on the bed. The males hang around for, I don't know, anywhere from like 9 to 18 days or so, I'm guessing. And the females, they come in, they come in, they might hang around a day or two at the most, and then they're gone. They, I mean, they might be in and out in just less than a day even as well. So that's, uh, that's where we're at with that. Um... This, uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to post, by the way. I have, uh, I mean, I'm shooting the video right now, but then you have to load it into YouTube. And I ain't going to be able to do it tonight because where I'm sitting here at this campground, there is minimal cell service. The other thing about this campground, it's a nice, this is a nice campground. Uh, I'm at the Lake of the Ozark State Park. Um, but what really threw me for a loop <laughs> was uh, they, there's two parks called Lake of the Ozark State Park. And, I mean, and they're literally like 25-minute drive by car between the two. So why, why do they do that? And the reason why I'm saying this is because when I got in here late last night, well, after 10... Uh, my Google Maps took me to the other one, and there's no camping at the other one. Or even if there was, I wasn't, I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't have been, uh, I didn't have reservations over there, even though there aren't campgrounds, but let's say there was. My reservations was way over here. And it's a nice park, however, it's uh, a little bit, uh, it's not as centrally located as I would have liked. But anyways, yeah, I got in at 10, and then I'm like, hey, where's the campground? Uh, I kept seeing the signs that say, hey, no camping. I'm like, what do you mean no camping? I got a reservation at this place here. But it was a completely different park. <laughs> so it's like, so then I'm like, okay, now where do I go? How? I mean, where am I supposed to go now? And uh, so after some investigating online, I found out that this is where I'm supposed to be, where I'm sitting right now in this location. So anyhow, uh, tomorrow I think we're going to have more wind. Uh, and it's, man, it sucks not having cell service because I can't get the weather updates that I want. Um, I just can't check. There's things you can't check, water levels you can't check. Uh, if, if I go out, you know, thankfully... If I step outside with my phone, I can get I get the weakest one bar signal, 
and uh, it can my phone can grind away and get me a water level if I want it. It can grind away and get me, uh, um, you know, uh, maps of boat ramps where I might want to launch. Uh, but sitting inside this camper, uh, this phone does not pick up the self service uh, on a weak signal. And that's because this camper, like the roof is metal. I think it's because the roof is metal. The sides of it is like aluminum. So when I'm encased inside this thing, and I've noticed this over the years, uh, if I have a marginal phone signal outside of this camper, when I bring the phone in here, it just completely gets nothing. So it's always like one level down, one bar down uh, when it's in here. Just this enclosure will knock it knock one bar off for sure so gosh what else um uh, the fish are spawning this is a, if you've never been here it's a rock lake a lot of rock so i don't know i i'm gonna just go looking around again tomorrow i'm gonna pick a different section of the lake and just look around with my eyeballs and see if i can't find some like areas where there are lots of bedded fish uh we'll see we'll see you know check out different water clarities in different parts of the lake and just see what uh, how this lake's shaping up really so anyhow i want to keep this short because the shorter this is the easier it will be to load it onto the channel so you guys can all see uh and hear what i'm talking about <laughs> if you care <laughs> Because I'm not really, what did I reveal? I, I didn't reveal a whole lot in this video. And that and that's, tends to be, my, my most of my practice videos are somewhat vague in nature. Uh, that's just the paranoia of, of, you know, other, of just being concerned of my competition, my picking up on some valuable information. But, uh, hey, right now I don't have any valuable information, so... Anyways, that's it, guys and gals. Thanks again for watching. And it's late. I'm tired. God, I didn't get to bed till late last night. Um, and that was. It's like you might you might ask, okay, why, Jim? Why? Why didn't you get there sooner? Uh, well, I wanted to get here sooner, but. There was certain circumstances uh, came into play that prevented that. So let's just leave it at that. Anyways, this video is now over.